All right, here we have a frigid box fan made by Lakewood. This is probably a uh, 75 or 76 model. Um, originally, this had a Westinghouse motor in it, but I took that out because it didn't run anymore and put a McMillan in it, and yeah. The Westinghouse motors aren't the best in my opinion, but... That's a debate for another time. But anyway, this is basically a first gen S223 under the frigid name, which they had their own model number for it, which was called the XG20. Um, yeah. I don't remember how I ended up with this one. I think it was an eBay find or something. But I've had it for quite a while. It's one of the I think I have four first gens. I got this one, the avocado one behind me, the terracotta one over there, and the Kmart fan. So yeah, there's four of them. The peach one I sold off to my buddy Cleveland fan collector. I think he has it now. Either that or my friend Nate has it. One of them two has it. I don't remember which one. But yeah. This one is a friggin frigid let's get the nice first gen lakewood blade the model sticker is pretty much gone at this point and the inside isn't really that rusty though this isn't really avocado green it's more like an olive green i guess let's get the white sticker which is very similar to what this fan has. Which originally this one was an S223 as well. But now it's an S23 because it has the metal blades and motor from a Kmart P23 in it. So yeah, kind of a freaking fan. But anyway, back to this one. Same switch and handle as that one. And oddly enough, both fans had a Westinghouse motor originally. This one did, and so did this one. This one also had a first gen blade on it, not the McMillan or the metal blade. But anyway, with the back of it, it's got a few slats missing in it. This one's halfway gone, this one's all the way gone. That one, the back row is actually in pretty good shape. It has a McMillan motor. This is probably a 2.4 amp motor tags missing so I don't know I think that motor was came out of something I don't know if it was a Kmart fan or something else but it was went into this there's the side of it if you can tell it is kind of like an olive green color it's not avocado green like like that one there but anyway this one does have the plastic feet and the newer handle and knob so yeah come on cord which they changed the handle in like 76 i believe was the first year for this handle that knob came out in the early 70s. But anyway, here's high. Very good running fan now. I mean, it was before when I had the Westinghouse motor. But for some reason it quit running. thing moves a lot of air. And look.
Low speed's pretty tame on this. It's not really quiet, but it's kind of like the Kmart fan I got. It just kind of has a white noise effect. Anyway, back to high. And O double F spells off. It's a good running fan. Like I said, the Westinghouse motor that was in it before ran perfectly fine. And I put it back in storage, and when I got to dig it out, it did not run. So I don't know what happened there. So I just threw a McMillan motor in it, and it works perfectly fine. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.